The Galaxy S24 Ultra, which is widely expected to go official alongside its vanilla and plus siblings in less than two months after having virtually all of its key details leaked by rock-solid sources numerous times of late, might be pictured in the flesh for the very first time today. What we're looking at here are most certainly not computer-generated depictions of the potential S24 Ultra design or dummy units meant to help case makers develop accessories for Samsung's next big thing ahead of time. Instead, these are almost surely actual photographs of some kind of an early prototype of the unreleased device. Although just like everything else that doesn't come directly from the company in the lead-up to such a major product announcement, it still needs to be viewed with a healthy degree of skepticism. No one can say for sure the pics are not doctored in some way, or for instance that we're not looking at a very convincing Galaxy S24 Ultra clone manufactured by an entirely different company. But assuming no such shadiness is at play here, we have to admit the phone looks pretty good and predictable. Just as anticipated over the last few months by too many insiders and tipsters to name here, it appears that even the Galaxy S23 Ultra's minimal curves are all gone, making way for a completely flat screen and flat back panel this time around. That's something that would have probably stirred quite a bit of controversy just a few years ago, but now it feels natural and expected given how Samsung has subtly revised the design of its last couple of flagships. Other than that, the Galaxy S24 Ultra seems virtually identical to its predecessor at first glance, with the same rear camera arrangement and positioning of the four imaging sensors and LED flash, an unchanged centered hole punch at the front, and nothing much to note in the buttons and ports department either. The pre-production unit photographed in the wild appears to be powered on and functional, but unfortunately, these images don't give us much in terms of glimpses at the actual user interface. Hopefully, that will come a little bit later. Unless, of course, the person who made these pictures public is already in a world of legal trouble. What else do we know about the S24 Ultra? Because everything would likely be a slightly exaggerated answer to that question, let's go with pretty much everything. For instance, we have no idea if Samsung is preparing any sort of price hike over the already costly S23 Ultra. We sure hope not given all the rumoured similarities between the two super flagships, ranging from a 5000 Ma battery to a 200MP primary rear-facing shooter to a 6.8-inch display with the same general specifications. But then you have the subtle yet important upgrades like a possible jump from 1,750 nits peak screen brightness to 2,500 or so nits, an entirely new 200 MP sensor, and storage options that could go from as little as 128 GB to as much as 2 TB. Meanwhile, the camera system on the back of the Galaxy S24 Ultra is likely to be fundamentally different from the one featured by the S23 Ultra, with the periscope telephoto lens tipped to go up from 10 to 50 megapixels, but down from 10x to 5x optical zoom. It remains to be seen exactly how Samsung will try to frame that potentially divisive last change, and whether or not that means the S24 Ultra could start at a lower price than the S23 Ultra.